This is Eric from Axis with another quick tip. Today we're going to talk about adding a custom work plane to our work planes manager. As you can see, I have my work planes manager open. What I would like to do is add four different work planes to this particular manager, and I'm going to do it four different ways. First, we're going to start by activating the drop down. Inside of this drop down contains multiple ways to be able to create a work plane. We'll start first with the dynamic plane because I consider it to be one of the easiest ways of doing it. Simply click on the word dynamic. It'll give you access to a gnomon. We take that gnomon and place it anywhere we would like on the part. Once it's placed on the part, we swivel it around, get it set up the way that we would like it to read. We'll come back, give it a name. We'll slide down our slider bar, make sure we set it as a WCS, T-plane, and C-plane. Hit our green check. This plane is active at this point. We are in the top view of this plane, so we'll bring it around to our isometric view and take a look at it. It's there. Let's go back to our top plane now and try something else. This time we're going to go back to our drop down. We're going to choose planes by geometry. Planes by geometry is another way to create a plane that either uses two lines or three points. We'll simply select the two lines brings up a window that gives us eight choices. By hitting the left arrow or the right arrow, it allows us to swivel around our gnomon until it makes sense to us. Once it makes sense, we'll select the green check, come back, give it a name, slide down our slider bar again, make sure our WCS is checked, our T-plane and our C-plane. Move to our top view. This plane is now active. Let's go back to top to reset and try again a different way. Okay, back to our isometric view. We're ready to try another. We'll go to create a different plane, this time from a solid face. Another very simple, easy way to create it. Simply select a solid face. Automatically, Mastercam will put a gnomon in the middle of that particular face. We do have the ability, just as we did with planes from geometry, to rotate the surround. Once you're happy, you select the green check, give it a name. Slide the slider bar down, make sure our WCIS is selected, T-plane and C-plane are selected. Now this plane is active. Let's go back to our top plane, again to reset, we'll say equal. Back to our isometric view. As you can see, we're back to our original gnomon. Let's go try another plane. This will be by normal, center of a circle. So we'll select by entity normal, we'll go select a little piece of center line that I have already pre-selected inside of the software. Again, we choose to rotate the gnomon around. Once we're happy with our selection, we'll hit the green check, give it a name. In this case, we'll call it normal. Slide our slider bar down, make sure our WCS is selected, our T is selected, and our C is selected. And then we'll hit our green check, activate that plane, as you can see, we rotated the block all the way around on that one. Come back to our top plane and reselect. And that's all there is to it. Four different ways to add four custom planes to Mastercam. Thank you.